can't say I'll miss this dreadful heat. Don't forget your surfboard. Oh, you wouldn't see me dead on one of those. I so wish I was coming with you. I know. Me to Hawaii, and you might just start a whole new school year. Oh, but still, it's not all that long till August. Opera in Prague. <laughs> you know, I'm really looking forward to it. I wish it was today. Quick. Oh, uh, I'll ring it tonight, hon. I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Love you. See you soon. You, Helen. And believe me, your husband's final gifts will make such an untold difference in people's lives. You can't take his heart. He needs it. It's okay. David, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Helen Chamberlain speaking. Slow down, Sky. Yes, I'll call you straight back. Good morning, Jenny. I'm going to get Sky Weston. Meet me in my office. Okay. If you have to Helen, she's not in. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go. Yes. I have written to the recipient via the agency and have heard nothing. Damn the rules! This is my husband's heart we're talking about. Just tell me who it is. <sighs> Please see what you can do. Peter, good to see you back in Adelaide. You are well? Fighting fit, thanks Helen. Your secretary here has been doing a great job providing all I need. If you or the board require anything... I'm sure it will be fine, thanks. Good. For both Poe and Shakespeare, night was a time of great darkness. A time when forbidden, untamable, pagan forces reached their zenith. In Macbeth, we find that night was a realm of Hecate, the dark mother goddess, she who reigns supreme. All 
things repressed. That which haunts our worst nightmares has been unleashed. And only by journey to the very heart of the darkest shadow can there be release. Check it out. Wholeness. Sorry to interrupt, Brett. We're just after Sky. I know something. Who is this? Turn away from her. She looks like one hell of a girl. Oh, really really so now, sad. turn to Act Three, Scene Two, and we'll see how Shakespeare develops his theme even further. Sit down. You are to be suspended for two weeks. You're just suspending me because I did not dismiss you. Helen, Mrs. Chamberlain, I do think. Miss Falcone, we can discuss this at another time. Sky? You are the lead in tonight's rehearsals, is that correct? You will kindly turn round when I am speaking to you. I'm afraid rehearsals for you are out of the question. Miss Falcone, you will need to find a replacement for Sky. Not fair. You may go now. Helen. I do feel that you're being unnecessarily harsh on the girl. I can't imagine how hard this last year must have been on you. Losing your husband. My decision as principal has nothing to do with David's death. Jenny, I would appreciate it if you do not bring up my personal affairs like this. Sky has a crush on the boy. She's young. She probably thinks she's in love. And you've just suspended her for that. Need your love, but so afraid. Just need a little longer. We'll answer before tonight. Helen. Sky Weston. Go.
go. Hey, Sky. Guess what I found out. <laughs> oh, tell me what Get this. He wakes from the transplant with the same liking for certain things as did the heart donor. It's astounding. Yeah, that program last night? That priest going on about how the church will never teach the use of condoms. It's insane. I know. Abstinence. Forget it. Kids will always experiment. No condoms and their risk of unwanted pregnancies, STDs. But, but Catholicism isn't entirely lagging. Our own Archbishop, for example, supporting equal rights for same Hi, sex. Join my class this morning? Yes, I did. Shakespeare has a real timeless something, doesn't it? Been on the school board long, Peter? Peter? Yes, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> no way, are you serious? Oh my god. Dr. Weston just rang. <laughs> Sky's father? He asked if you could give him a call on this number. Thank you. Mrs. Chamberlain is writing love letters to Mr. Davis. <laughs> I need to get this, Jenny. Hello.
Helen Chamberlain speaking. Oh, hello. Um, look, this is not a good time. How do you know about this? Oh my God. No, I'm, I'm still here. I, um, I need to process this. Can you call me um, first thing tomorrow morning? Yes, please. I just need to be alone this evening, Jenny. I am so sorry. I had heard rumors, but I'm still in shock. I can't believe it's you. Cheers. I have not laughed like this in such a long time. You know, Helen, I really enjoyed tonight. How about we do this again sometime soon?